Okay, uh, let's get a little snack before uh, getting to work here. Mm, got some nice grapes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. White grapes. Actually, remind me of something very important in social studies. It's uh, basically how we study different civilizations or different cultures. And it goes by the acronym GRAPES. G-R-A-P-E-S. The uh, G in uh, GRAPES refers to geography. Now geography is uh, the landscape and the climate of an area where people live and how those two things affect the way that uh, people live um, their day-to-day -day lives. The R in grapes uh, stands for religion. And religion is uh, how society, um, their beliefs about um, you know, life, uh, the governing of that life, how you know, the rules that they should live by uh, and treating each other. Uh, it also um, helps in explaining the creation of the world around them, and explaining natural phenomena um, that occur around them as well. Also, it uh, helps explain what happens to people uh, when they go off uh, or die and what happens in the hereafter. Uh, humans don't particularly like the idea of uh, when they die, that's it. And um, basically, uh, most of the cases, um, there's worship of uh, certain gods uh, or deities or higher powers, whatever you may want. But sometimes uh, with philosophies, they uh, have these moral rules uh, without the worship of uh, any kind of uh, gods, deities, or higher powers. The A uh, stands for achievements, and that is a society's lasting achievements. Uh, this could be uh, buildings that um, still stand and uh, gives an idea of uh, the architecture style uh, that they may have used. This also could mean uh, certain uh, philosophies, uh, scientific achievements, um, you know, other achievements that um, help us understand what the, a society has given to all the world uh, over the course of history. Uh, and it's very important because uh, the great societies always have given us uh, things that uh, we still even use today. The P in uh, grapes stands for uh, political system. Uh, who uh, runs, who governs the society? And it's basically what we're talking about when we talk about political systems, the government, uh, the governing of a society. Uh, how is uh, the government run? Who has the power, how do they use that power, how do they gain power, how do they keep power, uh, and in many cases, how do they lose power? Uh, whom does the government serve, and um, how does the government protect its people uh, that they serve? The E in economics is uh, basically how does a society use its scarce resources uh, organizes them and then figures out how to distribute them uh, to those people that need them. Uh, what are the valuable resources that uh, society is going to produce or is going to need? Um, how are they going to get those resources? Uh, how are they going to create um, a way for buyers and sellers to meet uh, to exchange goods or, um, or, or get goods. And so uh, basically, how does a society uh, eventually get its wealth? Finally, the S in grapes is for the social structure of society. How is um, the people organized into different classifications? Um, because usually that happens. Uh, who will be the most important people in that society, and what do they do, uh, and also who's the, considered the least important or at the bottom of society, and what is it that they do. 
And uh, why did these things happen? Why did uh, people, why did one group uh, happen to get above another group? Uh, is it political power, economic power, a combination of those? Um, was it uh, a conquest that uh, took what was once a ruling power and put them at the bottom of society? Um, is it uh, where one group takes uh, a group of people and by force migrates them to another part of the world to uh, enslave them, put them to work uh, for a particular reason because the people, uh, the natives of that society, uh, really don't want to do that work. So now that you know what grapes means, why don't you go out and create a presentation by taking pictures, shooting some video, um, perhaps even uh, drawing pictures or cutting pictures out of a magazine and pasting them on some poster board of uh, what grapes means to you in your community so that you can get that better connection to what your society is like and then hopefully that will help you make a better connection to societies in the past. Good luck and enjoy your grapes. If you want to share what grapes means in your community, then put it down in the comments below. Also, if you like these videos, please subscribe so that you'll be able to get the latest videos that I produce. And teachers, if you want the companion uh, activity, go to teacherspayteachers.com and search for Teacher Bites, T-E-A-C-H-E-R-B-Y-T-E-S. Thanks for watching.